Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Monday morning. It is the Coffee Run Live uh, on what is going to be a very fabulous day. And I've already decided that it's going to be a really, really great week. Hope you have as well. So yes, we are a little bit late this morning. Um, I, I had a, a doctor's appointment this morning and I think that um, it's kind of interesting. Hey, Mike, the way that we kind of, uh, like how the, the things that we go in, in thinking about different things. So I guess today what I wanted to be talking about was your mindset, stepping into the new week and the way that your attitude and your presence and how that impacts everybody else. So it was really interesting, you know, I don't know uh, the last time that you guys walked into a doctor's surgery. Good morning, Joe. Uh, I've walked in there this morning and everyone's just like, mm. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is really interesting. So I've gone in, you know, being all bubbly and bright and morning, how are we? You know, no, 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 no. Sat down, the doctors called me in and I've gone in there and, you know, I, I make it a really big, um, make a really big effort to be kind of like shiny and positive and happy and by the time I'd walked out of there the doctor was you know smiling and kind of laughing and the girls at the counter were seemed to be a little bit more kind of almost up if you like so I think what's really interesting and what the experiment was for me this morning was how can I be as bright and bubbly and shiny as, as I can be and how is that going to impact the other people. So the other instance, like I, I quickly ducked into office works, I, I had some printing to pick up for sales and marketing spy school for the, the folders, the, the workbooks and, and things like that. Good morning, Catherine. And I've walked in and I'm just like, good morning. And they're all just like, oh, good morning. <laughs> so I think if you think about, hey, Casey, I think if you guys think about the the impact, the positive impact that you're able to have when you're stepping in and you're kind of leading the way. So this happens on social media. This happens in person. It happens down at the, the sports ground, at the baseball. It happens everywhere. Your attitude can be contagious. So if you think about it, you know, if you're walking around going like, Ah, oh, it's Monday. Good morning, Kate. Welcome. I don't think I've seen your, your your comments. I don't know that you've commented before. Really awesome to see you. Thank you. Um, you know, it's, if, if you go walking into the day or into a room or into a meeting, if you're just kind of like, I'm here, we're going to do what we need to do. You know, I don't really want to be here. This is kind of boring. You know, everyone's freaking there, there, there. You know, that is going to ripple through. So, one of the things that I love that is saying and I, I picked up over the last few weeks is be the ripple, be the, the positive ripple, right? Be that person that just embodies joy and happiness and inspiration, motivation and, and feeling like you are doing your damnedest to, to feel the way that you want to feel. Even if you're feeling a little bit like... <sighs> to start with, you know, change your state because what happens is the people that you come into contact with, whether it's on a Facebook Live, whether it's in a group, whether it's down the street, in Coles, wherever, at the doctor's surgery, promise you that people will look for a way to kind of like almost uh, up level energetically to match you, right? So if you're kind of a bit flattened down, then they kind of will look to, to energetically match you that way. So if you're up, then that gives people the chance to actually rise to the occasion and, and get there. I think how this relates to business <clears throat> is like if you are, uh, if, if you're wanting to create transformation, if you are wanting to create a, a tribe of people around you who are looking to you for leadership, who are looking to you for motivation, inspiration, anything like that, then you've got to make sure that you are up here. You know, it doesn't need to be like way, way up here, but you want to be up, up leveled a little bit energetically from where they are because that gives them the chance to rise, right? So if you're thinking about your marketing, how can you put marketing out that gives people a chance to rise? What, what can you do energetically in that to kind of lift? What about your offers? What about your posts? What about the, the things that you're putting out there? Yeah? 
Really think about that. Now, to piggyback off this kind of concept, if you think about the posts that you put up on your Facebook page, are they creating a ripple? You know, are they creating a drop that then goes out, out, out? You know, it is. it astonishes me time and time again where, like, Kate, I'm just going to pick on you because you're the last name to, to go up in the comments. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how long you've been following me, but there are a bunch of people that I will meet and they say, oh, yeah, yeah, I've been following you since 2013 or 2010. I'm like, whoa, really? I, you've never, you know, you've never commented. And they say, oh, yeah, but I've been following you. I look at you, you know, you're, you're motivating, you're inspiring. So even without you realizing it, you are create or you have the capacity if you're thinking about it and doing it strategically you've got the ability to create and be the ripple you don't know necessarily how far that ripple extends right but i can guarantee you that it is reaching a hell of a lot more people than what you actually give yourself credit for so hold that in mind right hold that in mind give them give the people something to rise up to energetically and it will pay off dividends for years i promise years and years and years to come regardless of whether you're running this business in two years or you're doing something differently because it's all about you tanya hello haven't seen your name pop up in ages so lovely to see you this morning happy monday i uh Tanya's like a rock star photographer. She does the most amazing family photos. I love them. So good morning, welcome. You're creating huge ripples, creating legacies. Hey Maxine, good morning. Nice to see you. All right, everybody, so that's me for your Monday morning uh, razzing. Be the change, be the ripple, be the person that gives the people uh, energetically something to lift to, like a, a new level. For them to be able to kind of like pull up, be pulled up by you, even when you're not feeling it, I promise you it, it, it will help you to change the way you feel internally. It'll help influence the things that you're putting out there. Just really be aware that the stuff that you're putting out there is actually creating a positive impact and keep freaking going. Even if you don't see the immediate payoff because this other ripple out here might be like that 10 degrees of separation thing. Yeah? Awesome. Uh, Catherine, thanks for the Raza. Needed that this morning. Oh, you're welcome. Me too. <laughs> uh, Jason. Hey, Jason. I haven't seen you comment before either. Welcome. Good morning. So great to have you on. Uh, completely agree. Be the positive change. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's really fascinating. Just experiment with it. Go, like the, the shops you go into, the people you come into contact with, the school run. You know, all of this, just, you know, be that person that kind of creates and gives people something to lift towards. All right, everyone, have a really awesome Monday. Tomorrow we have got uh, Becoming Professionally Famous online, our 11 o'clock show, and I am talking about building proposals and whether or not we should actually do that, whether we do sales calls, whether you do proposals, whether you do coffee chats. So kind of about sales and, and, and I guess that the follow on from everything that we've been talking about, I'm very much an advocate for marketing you online, right? So, you know, getting out there, doing things that you do, and that's great, but there's gotta be a commercial return for what it is that you're doing. So that's where actually conversion, you know, converting, making a sale, getting a client, getting a customer, whatever it is, signing someone up, We've got to have that conversion piece, otherwise you're kind of just warming all your people up for the person that is going to come in and make an offer. So we'll be talking about the, the, the pros and cons of different sales processes from what I've seen, what I've tried, what I've tested, what I've practiced over the years. Uh, so I'll let you know all about that. Wednesday is Q&A day, Thursday is how-to day, and then Friday is celebration insight day. So really looking forward to, to celebrating with you throughout this week and really giving as much to you guys as I possibly can. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you all tomorrow. See ya.